Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning. We are Happy Our Treasures. I'm Steve, and Donna is going to be mowing and stuff. She's not filming today. We were not going to film. We had no intentions of filming um, because we still have the last video to make, and we don't stockpile videos. We just film them and put them out. So we weren't going to film, but we have some cool things I want to share. The kind of piggy, some things piggybacking off the last video. About our transition to more eBay I want to show you some examples and we have a couple of cool things that sold that we have that weird feeling like we have one of the very few if any other of these items in the entire world that we know of and so you know we were just talking about it yesterday and we're like that's really cool thing to have and so we have some cool things that sold I want to show you some things some updates about you know, our transition to more eBay and that's about it. So I thought, let's just grab a camera. I'm going to film anyway. I said Donna's busy. She's still here. She's just working. But uh, I will talk about her in a little bit. But for now, let's get into pulling some of these orders. All right, we have a few items that are upstairs. I don't store them down here. So I grabbed those. This is a Making Comics book. This came from the $700 book and DVD buyout that we did in the spring or maybe winter even and that sold for nine dollars and it is going to Michigan right there and then we had three different uh, essential oils sell first we have this five milliliter cinnamon bark I know shadows are really hard here right underneath the lights but cinnamon bark sold for eleven ninety nine, and that is going to New York and then we have two five milliliter peppermints right there and those two of those sold for twelve dollars and seventy five cents and they're going to ooh, unless I drop them and break them and spill them all over they're going to Kentucky and then lastly I have four lemons and these are the bigger the 15 milliliter and there's four of these so lemon scent isn't a huge seller like reselling value wise or whatever but when you have four of them you can lot them all together and sell them for $35.99 and they're going to Iowa right there so those will go out today and then over in the media cabinet or whatever you want to call it we have this one right here Hannah Montana Miley Cyrus Hannah Montana the movie and this is new and sealed and this sold for $16.99 and this is going overseas to Germany okay and then in box Y somewhere in here this is stuff we just listed there it is right here glass bake I'm gonna get these out and show these to you there's some three mugs here let me show these okay here they are uh, they are glass bake uh, mugs there's salmon yellow and milk glass and they say glass bake on the bottom and these right here are going to California and they sold for $22.49 and our friends Larry and Ruth picked this up at a garage sale so that brings me to one of my topics, uh, things I want to just mention. Uh, those come from Larry and Ruth. They are our friends and they are retired and they've been around the world. They lived in Germany. He was in the military. And they are the only ones in this world that have a green light to go ahead and thrift for us if they're out and about. They like to go to garage sales. They like to go to thrift stores and stuff like that. So we trust their judgment. Like they've learned a lot. They've been through this with us as we've done this. So they've learned a lot about what sells, what don't sell, and how to look up things on eBay and so they kind of have a green light to pick up stuff and they'll just go garage selling and then they'll bring it and we'll just buy it for what they paid for it. Um, so, but they do still like call, like if they find video games or if they find something that they're not sure of, they'll call us or send us pictures and say, hey, do you want this for this price? So, but they're the only ones that have a green light. Now, I do want to give a special shout out today to Glenda because Glenda is our friend, lives in Columbus and she will sometimes do the same thing. She'll call and be like, I found this at a garage sale. I found this, it's on there. They have like a dollar auction too. Are you interested? Do you want it for this much? Whatever. And so we've got some things from her. She did something really cool the other day. She came over, they went. They came to town to go to the Nebraska football game and she brought a bunch of uh, baby quilt kits, like embroidered kits and quilting kits or whatever. She brought a bunch over. She was at a garage sale and the lady was selling them for a dollar. She got them each for a dollar. But instead of like, she didn't bring them over and say, here, I bought these for you. Pay me, you know, 
dollar a piece for them. She got them and then she brought them here and she brought them to Donna and she said, here, you look at these, you decide if you want them or not. And if you don't, I'll take them back. Like I'll, I'll keep them and I'll do something with them. But if you want them for the dollar, then that's cool. You can have them. So Donna looked them up and yeah, they're worth good money. Like Donna's listed a bunch of them and like 36.99, 36.99, 36.99, uh, 24.99, 29.99. So that's awesome that she did that. The awesomest part about it, awesomest, is that a word? Is that she didn't like, hey, I did this for you. Now you take them. She said, hey, I got these. If you don't want them, that's fine. Like she gave us the option. So that's really cool. Um, we don't recommend people garage sale for us because a lot of times just because you think it's cool or worth money and we learn this still to this day, we still pick up things sometimes we're like, we th I think this is really cool. This has got to be worth money. And then it turns out the resale value just isn't there. Um, so we don't recommend people do that. But for her to bring over a whole bunch and just say, hey, if you want them, cool. If you don't, that's cool too. That's really awesome. So thank you so much, Glenda, because that was really an excellent find that you found. Okay, next in box 32, which is behind all these empty totes. And this is going to be about, I'm going to talk about something else with these in just a little bit but first let's get down here 32 this tote 32 is just full of these little lamax figures and fire things from the fire by just a whole bunch of you know little things and so in here we sold i think they have like seven or eight of these just the one uh to the rescue is what we're looking for this is bucket brigade is this the one 2439 is what we're looking for. This is 2441. Let's try this one. 2439. Right here. Oh, the one with the ladder. Uh, to the rescue. This sold for $10. And it's going somewhere. That's all I know. Okay, it is going to ME Maine. All the way up to Maine, right there. Just sold a $55 t-shirt. Um, I'm not gonna show it to you unless they pay though because you know what's behind me still? You see that? That Cabbage Patch, they haven't paid yet. So we showed that in the last video and they still haven't paid so I don't know if they're gonna pay. Uh, we, when we were in box Y a little bit ago, uh, I forgot, I grabbed this too. Smoky Bear, as you can tell this probably came from the fire buy. It did. Smoky Bear Wacky Wobbler bobblehead right there this sold for $22.99 and it is going to Ohio I just realized there's another Y thing so that was a good box let me grab that box again okay if you watched the junk jump video you saw that I picked up a Sony handy cam right here for two bucks which was a great deal uh, and if it works it's like hundred hundred fifty dollars it does not work everything does work on it you can play you can record and everything but the view it really it's all like light washed out i don't know how to explain it um i'll probably put a picture up here from what it looked like so i sold it for parts or repair i still got 39.99 for it um so it's still a great pickup for two dollars to get forty dollars for it not working correctly that is going to new york and next we have a book lot okay right here i found i had a little trouble finding it uh it's a big old book lot clayton porter let's see one through 22 plus two special editions white indian series donald clayton porter i can open this up so i'm going to open it anyway so they look like this here um so that book light right there i think that may have come from my mother-in-law i might be wrong on that but it might have and it sold for 50 dollars, and it's going to new york next up from the fire buys in r5 I had a lot of six of these gold edition Harley Davidsons and sold three of them and another one sold to a repeat buyer. They bought, I don't know, I think they bought a couple others. Uh, we're looking for FHL Duo Glide right here. 1962 FHL FLH Duo Glide and that sold for $40 plus shipping and that is on its way to South Dakota right there. And in box 105 we have something from the junk jaunt something donna picked up from her uh lock by and it is this set right here of champagne toast 
like I said, I wasn't aware they made toast that tasted like champagne. Apparently they do. That is a lot of two items and sold for $23 and it's going to Oregon right there. The next sale, if you watched the last video, might have been the video before. I don't know what video. I wish Donna was in here for this one because she would get a kick out of this. She, of course, did see it when it sold, but oh no, it's not in there. It says R2. Let me check another box next to it. It wasn't an R2, it was an R3. She did see it when it sold, but she would get kicked out of telling you about this. Do you remember this right here? If you watch the video, she opened the box and she's like, Oh, isn't this guy cute? Build a bear Batman. And he sold for $19.99 and he is going to Maryland. Set him right up there. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is a piece of clothing, and this is going to be my next topic I'm going to talk about as we transition to more eBay. Um, the amount of things Donna has done just in the last few days to begin this little real transition over to more eBay is, a not, is amazing what she's done. So here in the clothes room, the jacket, I think it's up here. It is not up here. Look at these. We found these. Bob Mackey wearable art. And there's a blue and a brown. The blue is pretty rare. And them things, uh, we got those at like a private pick thing. And Jeepers, those things are rare. And actually it was a clean out of an abandoned apartment. And so the brown one's listed for like 90. This one's listed for like $200. One sold for like 150, 170. But the blue ones, you can't find them anywhere. But down here, I listed these shirts too. This. Patagonia, this is made in the USA actually. Patagonia made in the USA uh, 2XL coat, fleece line jacket. That sold for $39.99 and it sold like an hour after I listed it. So that's awesome. So we started listing clothes again. So this stuff is all listed. It has to be bagged up and put in places, put in homes. But if you guys watch the, and we ever show back here, there's a lot, lot less. There were stacks of totes and everything. So Donna's been working through this stuff. We took six, six contractor bags full to St. I can never remember the name. It's St. Louis, St. Louis thrift store downtown. And we donated that. And we're really going through and just moving things on because we're going to try for just eBay, right? So all we have in here, the back rack I can't tell you about, but this whole front rack, this is all mainly eBay. Donna had me go through some stuff yesterday, some shirts and stuff, and these are all right here. There's Affliction, there's whatever this is. I looked this up, this is worth eBay. You know, things like that. This old uh, Adidas Original Sport. So this is eBay stuff. Um, this is just for the booth. And then we're donating a ton of stuff. The goal is to have basically just two racks in here. One coming in, one going out. Things get listed, they get moved across, and we're going to do a lot less clothes. But my goal over the next couple weeks is to actually work through the eBay stuff. Down here, there's jeans. There's two totes of jeans mainly, and they're mainly Miss Me, Rock Revival, stuff like that. And they've just been in here. This is all getting donated. Um, there's a whole bunch of good stuff in there. But the problem is, if they're not eBay value, then it's not worth putting on eBay. Then what we used to do is sell it all on the dollar auction, right? Well, dollar auction has slowed down considerably. And I can show you an example of what I'm talking about. I'm going to take you out to the garage here. Okay, so I'm out in the garage. So we had two totes of shoes that needed to be go through and listed on eBay or done whatever we want with, right? So I went through and there was about eight to 10 pair that are eBay worthy. And for eBay worthy, they have to sell. And I was looking for $20 or more asking price. So I think the cheapest one I put on was $24.99. So once I did that, I was left with 26 pair of women's shoes. And I'm like, what do I do with these? Okay, and there's good shoes. There's Michael Kors, there's Cole Haan, there's Sperry, there's uh, uh, Steve Madden. There's, there's good quality shoes, and there's some lower quality ones too, but I had 26 pair. So what I normally would do, and what I at first thought, well, all I need to do is list each pair on the dollar auction, right? Well, the way the dollar auction's been going, if I listed 26 pair of shoes, there would be probably 
four that would sell for two to three dollars a bunch that would sell for one dollar and probably almost half of them that wouldn't sell shoes are tough sell because you have to be the right size and write the right things so instead i was like you know what i'm gonna lay them all out list them all in one lot and somebody takes all of them so right here i have them all laid out 26 pair of shoes there's steve madden's right there sperry's these are lauren conrad these are michael kors sandals reaction kenneth cole we got cole hahn we got antonio milani we got all kinds of stuff and although there's some really good stuff here they're just not they don't have the resale value and the resale rate on ebay to let them sit in the closet for a long time so i listed them all on and it don't end until tonight so there's just you know it's got like eight more hours but it's at 21 dollars right now so we're at a little less than a dollar a shoe you know there's 26 pair 21 dollars i think it will go up but i also think i don't care because now in one listing i get rid of an entire tote of shoes somebody else can resell them they can wear them they can give them away they can do whatever they want with them and it moves them on from us so as an example of why to do it that way these lot one two three four five these are all small toys um from the the utica buy last week and they're small little old tootsie toy cars and things like that lift them up they're not worth putting on ebay so i did lots and i did five lots and so those five lots i think they're at one dollar one dollar one dollar there's one at five dollars and there's one with no bids and then another one dollar so basically I, to take the time to put them in lots, take pictures of them, because I take a bunch of pictures of all the different sides, and then to list five different listings, I should have just put them all in one lot like this, like the shoes, and they would have sold for probably the same amount of money, if not more, because there's way more to pick from. People might be more interested in it, and I would have saved myself a bunch of time. So that's kind of something that we're doing to move things out to get rid of things that are not like eBay worthy or whatever. So that's uh, something that's real going on here. And then over here, so that's still all Utica stuff over there. These boxes, we usually keep a stack of boxes like this for cleanouts. Don't know that we're gonna be doing a lot of cleanouts. We can always find boxes. We're getting a lot of totes that are stackable. So they're easy to store. All those gray ones will be easy to store. So we might actually, because where these used to live, was up there and we took them down and now we don't have a home for them so they're right in the middle of the room clogging up everything i think we're actually going to recycle all them boxes all these boxes down here and we're just going to go out on a limb and if we need boxes we can always go buy boxes obviously we don't want to but the way things are right now they're really just in the way and i don't know that we're going to have a need for them anytime real soon so of course you never know so anyway we're going to open this all back up again so coming back downstairs, yeah, all of these totes were full and they were all in here. Lined up underneath there, lined up underneath there. The clothes were all there. We got a bunch of hangers there, but yeah, so this is going to all eventually go away. And then we're going to put storage. We're going to put racks with more boxes because as we list things, we're going to need more storage space for more boxes and things. Which also brings me to something else I wanted to mention. So over these years that we've been doing this, Donna lists a ton of stuff on Dollar Auction. Just churns it out, churns it out. And she's been doing it so long that I don't pay attention. It's just what we do. But I don't really notice it. So I kind of take it for granted for a while. Well, I can tell you that since she's been doing like more eBay and less Dollar Auction, man, that I see. I see each listing. And holy cow, she's listing a lot of stuff, you guys. We're going to have this eBay store built up in no time with her. We are already up to 383 listings, or 1,383 listings. And, yeah, we were around 1,100 just like a month, month and a half ago. So it's going to get big, and it's going to get awesome, So I really think. So anyway, props to Donna. She has been killing it. And now that I actually see each listing she's doing, I'm like, holy cow, she is 
going crazy here and I love it. She's on fire for this, which is awesome. I don't get to list as much because of videos and because of shipping, but yeah, between the two of us, we are really getting a lot of stuff out there. All right, next up is down here in box Q. It's just a little sale. A little something from our last cleanup that we just did. We call it Harmony Court. And in here there is a, that's not it. Or maybe it is. Yeah, it is. It's the handle to an apple peeler slicer attachment handle. And Pampered Chef, that sold for $7.20, and that's going to Michigan. Thought it was a knife just by the picture, but that is not a knife. That's a handle. Next item is in box LU and is also from the Harmony clean out that we did. And it is right here. An old Corningware pitcher thing. Is that what you call that? Spice of Life teapot kettle. Right there. Sold for $14.99 and that's going to Texas. Alright, next up box 40, which is, yep, behind here. Want to get these totes out of here. Right there. And here we're looking for a little, little chalkware figure. Oh, it's all wrapped up. It's right here. Let me get out of the plastic. All right, here it is right here. An old chalkware horse. Isn't that cool? Multicolor painted chalkware horse. That sold for $11.69. Came from a private pick and is going to New York. You would think by now I'd do planning to look ahead and see if there's thing in the same box as LU we just were in. And we have to go back into it again for the next thing. Way down in here, let me move this stuff out. Way down in here. There we go. Look at this. How cool is that? There's an old picture right there. Um, 1959. I don't know if you can see that. I think you might be able to. It says a name. Somebody, Pa, says Pa bought me this August 1959 in Omaha. That's pretty cool, huh? And that sold for $16.99, and it is going to Pennsylvania. And the buyer did just pay for the $55 shirt, so let's grab that. And that is down here in the set that I just listed yesterday. And right here, this Ed Hardy, hang it right there. Ed Hardy, Love Kills Slowly yellow shirt right there uh, i think it's worth more we got 55 dollars for it i took an offer i had it listed for 80 or 90 and they counter they offered i counter offered and then they offered 55 and i thought you know what let's just take it and the reason why because it like a lot of the clothes because we don't enjoy listing clothes has been in here for a long long time we may have had this for like two years so i thought you know what after being in a box or on a hanger for two years Let's just move it along. $55 plus shipping going to Canada. The next thing is in box W. And this is something Donna said. It's sold for $14.99. $15. It's going to Utah. And it's something that leads me to my conversation that I want to talk about last for my last two items. If I can find it. There's that bear that's listed for $340 or something. But anyway, in here... Oh, it's in this bag right here. Sorry. Let me get it out of the bag first. Okay, this is a, what do they call it? Shiba Inu? Shiba Inu? This is a flocked bobblehead dog. How cool is that? And so Donna listed, I think, for $16.99. And so somebody sent an offer. They wanted $10. She's gotten a couple offers on this. And she told me, she said, no, $15 is the lowest I'll go because you can't, there's not another one like this on there. And that leads me into my last topic that I want to show you a couple things. Um, but shoot, this sold, so $15 going to Utah. But good job on Donna for standing your ground because uh, that's just what we're talking about is things that are rare that you don't find. So the last thing I want to show you is two things. If you watch all our videos, you already have seen these. You saw when we picked, got them, and you've seen them, one of them throughout the videos. But the last thing I want to talk about is just one of the things that we love, love, love about doing this job is when we end up having something that we know 
It may not be the only one in the entire world, but is definitely one of only a few in the entire world. And we have it and we can put it out there and get it to somebody who's been looking for it forever or who, you know, looking for something like that. That is a cool, cool feeling. And so these last two things I want to show you are definitely, I don't know where there's any that we have, any like what we have, especially in the conditions that we have. So first of all, let me grab the first one. First one is back here in box LJ, and we're gonna bring this out here. Look at here. Here is the bag. This bag was full, full. We're down to a little over half. But these are the erasers. They were in, I think, just the very last video. Let me get a set out. So right here, there's a set, and they're fantastic, F-A-N-T-A-S-T-I-K, pencil erasers. And in the last video, I showed these, and I talked about how they were i had a hard time finding them so after that last video i looked up in worth point i thought well it'd be interesting and i looked in worth point i looked to search for these erasers again and you know the one listing that i saw on there when i found these erasers two years ago it still shows it's 23 or 23.99 and then after it there's several listings now on worth point and they're all my listing from my sales and that's cool to know not only do I have a set of these erasers that I can send somebody that are super rare, super hard to find, but I have a whole bag to be able to keep listing and sending out. So that's pretty awesome. To have, just to have something that rare that we can't find it anywhere is a super cool feeling. And those sold for $15 and they are going out to Washington. And then the last item was something super cool we did show in a video a month or two ago when we when i listed it because it was just like when i found, looked for these we got three of these in the fire buy we found three of them and when i looked at them all i found was one used one listed and i didn't find any new ones anywhere and we had three new ones and one of them sold let me grab that all right here in the box lq right here i thought there was three there's actually four these are the smoky the bear um air freshener jeepers it says it right on there sorry smoky the bear air freshener we found four of these unopened brand new and all i could find was a used one that sold for like twenty dollars one used sold for twenty dollars i couldn't find any new ones and so i listed them all for 24.99 each and you know what one of them sold 24.99 and it's going to sweden so it is going overseas also so that is really one of the payoffs of the cool perks about doing this job. You know, when I worked at Pepsi, I could get tickets to football games and stuff, and that was a cool perk. It was something they didn't have to do, but sometimes you got tickets to football games and the concerts and things like that. This ain't the same, but you know what? There's a cool feeling when you find something that nobody else has and you're able to sell it. It's not a lot of money, 25 bucks, 15 bucks for the erasers, but it just is a cool feeling to have something so rare in your hands that you can send off to people that are looking for it, you know? So anyway, that's, that's all. I just wanted to share that with you. So that's why I filmed today was to show you Smokey the Bear air fresheners. It's <laughs> something like that. So anyway, that's it. I'm going to ship this stuff. We're going to get, keep on working. We're going to get this clothing room gutted over the next few weeks we do have a wedding this next weekend so we'll be busy for the weekend um other things going on but we got a lot of work to do and we're doing it and then we're excited about it and we're excited about our channel it is growing we love that but for now i need to get back to work so thank you all for watching appreciate it if you need a smoky the bear vintage air freshener look up our ebay you too can have one and then only you and the person in Sweden would have one. But anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. I'm Steve. Donna is somewhere. And we'll talk later. Bye.